Hey friends, it's Sarah here. Today I have a project life process video to share with you, but before I get into the process, I wanted to go ahead and share some of the new releases coming to the Studio Calico shop for September 2018. This is the Stay Tuned Documenter Kit. I'm also going to be sharing a Halloween mini kit and a couple of stamp sets, and then I will share the Traveler's Notebook Kit and the monthly stamp subscription in a different video. So I'm just going through the 4x6 cards and now the 3x4 cards. Um, these are filled with so many pretty colors. I love the greens and the reds and yellows, like very, very bright colors, but I feel like these work perfectly for the fall. There's definitely kind of a back-to-school theme going on with um, some of the embellishments and some of the cards. So if you do have kids that are going back to school, um, you would probably find this a great kit to document all of those memories. Um, but even if you don't have kids that are going back to school, I mean, I have a six-month-old and she's far from school right now um, and I am definitely out of school um, but there's definitely plenty in here for sort of everyday documentation of um, kind of the start of fall so lots of really fun patterns here and plenty of places to journal there's also this really sweet stamp um, that was designed by Jasmine Jones and you get this washi tape kind of like a sticker washi tape. So each of those circles is an individual sticker that fits inside the center of that stamp, um, which is amazing. I haven't seen anything like this before, so that is super fun. You could actually pull this up like washi tape. Um, the stickers are kind of separate from the tape itself, so you'd have to be a little bit careful, but you could definitely kind of roll that out and um, adhere it down. So if you wanted just a bunch of those little circles like on top of a photo or something, you could definitely do that. You also get the September cork embellishment that is in Jasmine Jones handwriting. You get some arrow puffy stickers and this chipboard set that was designed by In a Creative Bubble. I love those sentiments. They're so fun. And then um, you get a couple sheets of those word stickers and some alphabet stickers. So that is the documenter kit. There are a couple of stamp add-ons. There is this early bird, it's the Night Owl Early Bird stamp set designed by Anna Creative Bubble. What I love most about this stamp set is that you can actually customize the bird and the owl there. They have the outlines and what goes on the inside. And then this is the, uh, let's see, it's the Trick or Treat uh, stamp set, which is also super cute. And then this is the Oh, I'm sorry, that was the Happy Halloween stamp set. This is the Trick or Treat add-on kit, which I know I'm going to get so much use out of this because it is our daughter's first Halloween and I bought her the cutest little duck costume and I can't wait to document <laughs> our memories. Um, but I won't be using this on today's spread. Um, I'll be saving the Halloween stuff for a different video in the future. So now I'm going to go ahead and get into the process for today's Project Life spread. Um, this is actually documenting one day with the exception of that photo of my daughter in the bottom left hand corner that was taken on a different day. But every other photo is from uh, my birthday actually, which was on August 11th and I turned 31 <laughs> and um, I went out with some friends. My husband was actually working this day. So um, I met up with a couple of friends that I have known since middle school and we grabbed um, some gelato together and just walked around. Uh, one of my friends has a baby that is about one month older than my daughter so that's always really fun to see them interacting together and they are just so cute. So I am working with square photos again for this week's spread so I can tie in more of my 3x4 cards and I am adhering my photos down early on because I don't want to spend too much time um, kind of playing around with card placement. I just wanna make some decisions early on and then go with the flow. So I did actually have some of these uh, cards pre-selected, but you'll see me kind of switching them out um, while I'm working on my spread. So I really liked that morning card that I'm pretty sure in a creative bubble um, designed that, that's kind of her style. 
and I really liked how that looked layered on top of a 4x6 card. So I actually printed that one out with my journaling and then I cut it down a little bit um, and I kind of like how those dotted lines are peeking um, out from behind that card and then I just have that photo of my daughter in her crib when she woke up from a nap I have that layered right next to it and then I'm gonna go in with this night owl early bird stamp set and I'm stamping out good morning on one of these cards I'm just gonna cut it out and make it into a little um, banner and then I will use the bird stamp um, that sort of customizable bird stamp and I will um, stamp that onto white cardstock and then fussy cut it out. I really liked that um, currently loving chipboard piece uh, for that journaling since I was talking about how my daughter is currently loving to sleep on her stomach. She is definitely a stomach sleeper right now which kind of freaks me out a little bit but um, she seems to be really happy and she kind of wakes up and just gives this big smile so I know that she is enjoying it. So I love these customizable stamps. Um, I love kind of having that black outline and then having a um, pattern for the inside of that bird. So I just think that is so cute um, and it's kind of the perfect little addition for this card. So I'm gonna stick that right in the corner there and then layer my chipboard piece on top of it and then I will stick down that little banner. The spread was actually really easy once I kind of figured out my cards it came together really quickly. So now I'm going to work on this photo of some happy mail that came. My dog was really curious about why I was taking a photo of these boxes and he just laid down right in front of them and I thought that was pretty cute with his paws um, right next to those boxes. But coincidentally they came a little bit early. I don't think they were scheduled for like another two days but they happened to come on my birthday so that was pretty special um, to receive some happy mail. And so I went ahead and stamped out that little um, ribbon and I put the sticker yay in the center and then I'm going to use that chipboard piece that says good times together on top of that photo of me with my friends sorry that's a little bit out of frame that top photo there but I will move everything into frame in just a second just adding a couple of um, phrase stickers to the top of that photo. One of them says, I think, new friendship, and I think the other one says new beginnings. So I thought that was perfect. It's only their, I think, second or third time seeing each other, and they are just so sweet. They were kind of reaching for each other, and I don't know, they're probably not trying to give each other hugs yet, but I like to think that's what they were trying to do. <laughs> And then I'm going to be adding a couple of these puffy arrow stickers to this Time for Fun card. I really love that green color. Normally I don't gravitate towards green, um, but for some reason that just really worked well with the other colors that were going on here. And um, I just really love all of these bright colors for this month's kit. And then I stuck down that little asterisk um, chipboard piece to kind of um, highlight which, which of those little ice cream cups was mine. And then I am using my Mega Date stamp here to stamp out August 2018. And that will finish off my page. I hope that you enjoyed this really quick flip through, or not flip through, but process video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. And I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.